Okay, we got hopefully two firsts here. I got my tube amp. I powered it on about an hour ago because it has to warm up. Got a pick right here. Um, I'm going to plug my Gretsch into it for the very first time. My 6118 T140 that I bought used. Plugging it, I've had it for a month now, and I have not plugged it into this amp, so this will be the very first time plugging it into the amp here. So that's one first. We'll see what it sounds like. I've also never tuned this guitar since I got it. I arrived in tune, and I have never tuned it or checked it. I was looking for my tuner. There's the lyrics to Red Red Rum, and that's hopefully going to be the other first. I'm going to try to figure that out <laughs> as we do this video. I've never played it before. I don't know if I can or not. It was the very first song ever recorded <laughs> as a video by Al Jolson in 1926. So, turn the amp on. We sound awful. Turn the volume up. I never checked the tuning on this. Sounds like an E to me, I don't know. That one sounds off. I was going to tune it, but I couldn't find my tuner, so... You can see intonation on this thing is perfect. I've never adjusted anything. I never even tuned it, for Christ's sake. And it shipped to me used. I don't know if the other guy ever tuned it or if he got it from the factory this way. And when it shipped, it was like 100 degrees out. It was shipping for like a week. So I made it here in the 100 degree weather, in the heat. And it arrived. I left it in the house for like a couple days before I unpacked it, because they say you're supposed to. And then I unpacked it and <laughs> it was in tune. I didn't have to trust the thing. One thing I don't know how to use, it's got these locking tuners on the bag. I don't dare touch them. <laughs> Everything's perfect, so I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to touch a thing. So, all right, I got my Red Red Robin lyrics, and this may sound awful. And I only got, I got a meeting coming up in 20 minutes, and I got my son coming home anytime, so I got to do this quick, but... My understanding of, my limit, very limited understanding of songs and chords is that most songs have a, it's either a 1-3-5 or a 1-4-5 chord progression. And I've seen, of course Al Jolson just sang it, but I've seen Steve Goodman play it. I'll put a link to his performance because he's the best guitar player in the world. And he hits the G chord a bunch, so I'm going to try starting it on the G. And then bar chords are nice because you can count up, so there's one, two, three, four. And that doesn't sound right. One, one, two, three, four, so maybe the B. Maybe it's the five. Yeah, so one, five is... Gotta go. They seem ended on a D. So maybe it's a D. Of course, he's playing jazzy chords. thing that I'm learning. I'm still learning everything. But if you play it, I mean, those are barred, and then you got, of course, open. And then we can maybe turn one of them into a seventh chord or something. So, I 
gonna say that's the seventh chord that works. It's hot down here. Um, but then if we do chords in different progressions, like this is the C, and this is a G. Gotta figure something out there. position where you can play chords and then you can move it up and then another G's way up here and the C would be there where it's, no that's the D so there's the G and then D and the C's down there so maybe trying to pick out a lead from the chord. So now the next trick is putting the words to it. I got the lyrics like you saw. And I've never sung this before, so we're gonna try. in a minute, but... Because that's the best part of the song is live life, live, love, laugh, and be happy. Live, love, laugh, and be happy. Live, love, laugh, and be happy. I'm so terrible with lyrics. <laughs> I probably can't even remember those. What is it? One, two. The sun is red. Live, love, laugh, and be happy. Live, love, laugh, and be happy. The sun is red. Live, love, laugh, and be happy. Laugh and 
the happiest boy. I keep going from the G to the C. I gotta get. It goes G to the D. All right, so we're gonna try to do it <laughs> for the first time, and then I gotta get upstairs. That's the song I want to figure out. I need to spend time with it. And I need to spend time with the amp. The other thing I was going to do was try to get some sustain out of it. I don't know how, but... I had my friend tell me over text what to say. He said something about putting the gain way up till you're almost getting feedback. But anyway, lots of things to play around with. And I got to get to my meeting. 